top of the morning to everyone in the name of jesus i'm so excited to be here i want to say that we love you so much and yeah there's just nothing you can do about it right um pot beans so it's giving me troubles right it's been giving me problems and so i just don't know how much more longer i might stay there you know what i mean like um when you're when you're on a platform you expect for it to do right you know what i mean and so i'm not sure all right i'm putting that before the lord about that but yeah it's been giving me issues and i said you know what well since it's doing that i mean i might as well just come over here uh to hey maybe another platform hey what do you think about that is that okay we come over here and do it real quick well yes it's super 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 early and again i want to say i love you so much um so many things that i want to say so little time there was a pastor he would give uh every now and then he would give us space to say something right the ladies he would give the ladies space to say something and uh he would say uh give each one of them 15 minutes right so with those 15 minutes there was a a lot of a lot of chatter i would hear that um you know they would be saying you know how can i do something in 15 minutes and 15 minutes ain't that long but i tell you what i never did complain because i really was too shy to be up there anyway you know what i mean and uh i i did it because i was obedient but i you know it was one of those things where i wasn't trying to do it i didn't i wasn't like i had my hand up saying me 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 you know but now that i look back i am so thankful for those 15 minutes i'm so thankful for those five minutes i'm so thankful for those seven minutes because it taught me how to be able to do uh something big in a short amount of time and i'm just so thankful to be able to look back and gain wisdom knowledge and revelation instead of bitterness you know what i'm saying wisdom knowledge and revelation to help build for the future instead of looking back and being bitter about things you know what i'm saying so i'm excited there's also another uh pastor that i heard say uh that water is something that's always refreshing you know what i'm saying he said water is is always refreshing he said even even it's like even since the beginning water has just been something that's always refreshing water has been here since the beginning of time yet you he didn't say all this but i'm adding this yet you can go out there to the stream right now and take your hands and scoop up some water and drink it and listen to this this is not magic magic is for the dark those those that are they're they're in darkness okay but this is not magic this is god this is the supreme being you can go right out there to that stream that's been here for years and decades and millennia you go right out there to that same stream guess what that stream has in it that stream has dirt it has gravel it has rocks it has all type of things inside of it and if you don't believe me you can go and peek your head in and look because the stream is is transparent it's like transparent go it's transparent you can look and you can see and you can behold what is in that stream you can see the rocks you can see the dirt you can see the gravel you can see the grass you might can see fish in the, you can see all type of things in that stream yet if you don't disturb the stream oh, this is hot okay if you don't disturb the stream in an old bad way you know sometimes we have bad attitude but it's just it's almost like have you ever known bad kids okay they ruin it for everybody else just because they're bad you know what i'm saying bad attitude bad minds the way they think is just bad the way they act is just bad just bad kids you know what i'm saying and so have you ever experienced bad kids it is like you go out to the playground and on the playground you know um uh, they'll tell you uh, the teacher will say all right uh -uh, everybody come in everybody come in why miss wilson why miss wilson why 
Okay, right. And Ms. Wilson is like, because I'm tired of talking to, to, to Joey over there. Joey, I'm tired of talking to Joey. I'm tired of talking to Jimmy. All right, I'm tired of talking to them. Let's go in. I'm just done with it. And you're like, oh, man. You know what I mean? Or, you know, it's time to go out. And it's like, Susie, I, you know what? You know what? No, no. Susie and a couple of more of y'all know. Everybody sit down, put your head on your desk. And while we're supposed to be out for 45 minutes, you are going to lay your head on your desk for 45 minutes. And you are going to think about what you have done for 45 minutes. Well, everybody in the class didn't do this, right? But everybody had to lay their head down for 45 minutes. Well, I'm so glad that the Lord, he, he, he looks at things like this and he's like, yeah, it rains on the just as well as the unjust, but I'm going to bless these over here. You know why? Because they didn't have an old raunchy attitude. I'm going to bless these because they look and saw it differently. I'm going to bless them because they believe my word instead of what other people say. I'm going to bless them. You know what I mean? And so I'm just thankful and I'm, I'm really actually excited to be over here sharing what's supposed to be a popping with you. All right. Okay, so we are going to walk on water. But that was just so so wow to me when I heard him say that water how how refreshing water is. And and, and as old as water is, it's still refreshing today. As old as water is, the doctor will still tell you to drink it. As old as it is, it's like been here since the beginning of time. You can go to the first chapter and begin to, to talk and see water. Good God, it's been here so long. But yet, and then, then what we were saying about the stream, okay, you can take, you can go to that stream and you can stir that stream the wrong way, right? Because I've done this before. I went to the stream and I, and no, me and the children, you know, we were like, for the first time, you know, we were like, I want, let's drink some water from this stream our first time doing it right and uh because i heard you could drink water from stream and it's so good and can i tell you it is so refreshing this is the most refreshing water you have ever tasted this water is chlorine free this water does not have it, it, it is the most re, rejuvenating water you could ever taste it is right from the ground right and so but but at the, at, the, at the beginning you know i'm like oh it's got rocks in it so we pick up a couple of rocks and when we move the rocks move the rocks i just noticed that the water right here started to get cloudy you understand it's you understand it started to get cloudy kind of murky and that's not the time that you can drink that water the same water that's fresh the same water that's clean the same water that can help you live you can't drink it why because you done stirred it up the wrong way you know what i'm saying stirred it up the wrong way and so god thank you for this revelation today good god okay so we stirred up the wrong way and we caused the, the velocity to just be uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? So the water, the stream, can't do what it was designed to do. Which is what? It was designed to give life. It was designed to be a peaceful flow, right? A peaceful flow. It was designed for this matter, right? And waters, a lot of times, they oh, the waters obey, okay? The waters obey the command. The command of who? Well, the command of Abba. You understand? So if Abba, uh, if he if he orders the if he orders high winds, then the water have to obey by reacting to those high winds you understand so how does the water react to high winds uh they 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 roar and they wave the billow ever all of these things but we were designed to be a peaceful peaceful he said follow peace with all men amen so being peaceful but it's the enemy's job to pull us out of that peace amen so peaceful to where people can can receive peace Amen. People can receive that peace. Right. People can uh, take part in the water. Yes. Uh, begin to drink because just as soon as I waited a little while, right, and I let that debris, I let all of the, the, the dirt settle back in the stream, right?
right? And I stopped fooling with the rocks inside of the stream. And I stopped tampering with stuff in the stream. And as the stream kept running, because this is something else beautiful about the what Father did with the water, as the stream kept running, it cleansed and purified itself. All it had to do was reject, okay, and remove negativity. Cut. God, I pray that this is helping someone. All they had to do was reject and remove negativity. And then the, the water, okay, the water began to heal itself. The water began to be able to be drinkable now, okay, and be it, it was it's, it's able now to be able to give life. Amen. It's able now to be able uh, to give life to someone else that needs it. Amen. It's able now to be able to present peace. Okay. That surpasses our understanding. Why? Because we are directly from the Lord. Amen. We are directly from the Lord. And I had something else that I was going to share with you, but this is just something, okay, that the Lord has given me right off the top of the dome, maybe in the name of Jesus. And that is another reason why I love the Lord because he always has something refreshing to say. The Lord does. Amen. Because why? He wants us to learn, to live, to grow. And he wants us to love. Amen. To learn, to live, to grow, to love. And as I'm walking this walk, by faith, the Lord is continuing to teach me every day. Have you heard that the Holy Ghost okay, will teach you all things? Well, I'm a living witness that the Holy Ghost will teach you all things every day you get up. If you're one of the ones that are really following after the Lord, you can and you have and you've sought the Lord for the Holy Ghost and you have it. Look, this is amazing. You have a tool that 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 is it only comes in is the most important in this life this tool the holy ghost which comes to teach us amen and i'm telling you with that teaching every day is class every day we learn we live we grow every day the lord shows us people and how people are every day the lord tells me amen i can speak for me but this is how the holy ghost works he tells me and shows me what to do what not to do because what is the end goal the goal is that you be drinkable Hallelujah. the lord wants us drinkable for someone else because water gives life he wants us to have our feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And while you're speaking peace, it's the enemy's job to come and try to move the rocks around. It's the enemy and his baby kids. Them the baby kids. It's the enemy and his baby kids. It's their job to come and move the rocks around. It's their job to come and stump, you know, to stump in the stream and to cause muckiness, mucky water, you know. It's, it's the enemy's job and those that are susceptible to the enemy. And can I tell you, when I say baby kids, it's only those with a mindset that they're going to live in the flesh. Then they feel spiritual. They think they're spiritual because they've eaten from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. That's the, that's a tree of knowledge too. And that tree, it has a knowledge. And because these people feel like they have a knowledge, hey, I have a knowledge, look at me. They feel like they're chosen. That doesn't make you chosen. What makes us chosen? Those that have answered the call of the Lord. Those that have shunned themselves from the world. Hey, I'm not looking back at that thing. I'm done with it. Lord, I am yours. You told me to sanctify myself. You told me to cleanse myself. You told me to come by the washing of the water of the word. And by this, I'll be made clean. He says, when you do this, okay, then, then this is when you can come into me. But those that are of the, of the world and friends of the world, you're, you're an enmity to me. But see, a lot of times we want to blur the lines. And the Lord is saying, that's fine if you feel like you're, gonna, you're blurring the lines in your life. That's the salvation that you've worked out for yourself. But I told you in the word to work out your own salvation with fear 
and trembling. What is fear? Well, I'll tell you something simple. When mom tells you, hey, I want you to take out that trash and I want you to wash those dishes before I get back and I don't want to see any crumbs on the counter and I don't want to see nothing on the floor. And mom leaves and goes to work. Well, when mom comes back, that fear in that kid, as that kid is doing what mom has said while mom has gone away, the fear in that kid is, I got to make sure that there's no crumbs. Okay, I got to make sure that there is nothing on the floor. I've got to make sure that I did the dishes. I've got to make sure that I've taken out the trash. That kid wants to do what the parent has said because of what? That, that fear. It's a healthy fear that if I don't do it, I'm going to get a whooping, right? And so this is how it works when we work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. We're not prideful, amen. We're not arrogant, amen. We're focusing on the word and what Father has said. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I pray that something was said that you was blessed from. And until next time, be blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen.